Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I want to introduce to you a very well-known cosmetic niche perfume house that is called Detail. And it was founded in 1905 and named after a husband of Comte de Presley, Edouard Detail. And you know, this is a French niche cosmetic house and I'm horrible at French, so my pronunciation is not good. So I will leave the information about this brand in the description box down below, so make sure that you check it out. But basically it was founded in the early years of 20th centuries when we had first uh, cars on the streets and they noticed that the skin was very dehyd um, dehydrated so they decided to create um, cream, um, hand creams and that uh, was how it all started. Then they uh, created very high quality um, body care products and then um, Additionally to that came loose powders and toilet waters. And the clientele of this um, house were very um, famous people like uh, Queen of Bulgaria, uh, the Queen of Belgium, several Maharajas, princesses and um, just famous people. It is a very well-known um, this cosmetic house that also has uh, quite a few other products as perfumes, essential oils, um, room fragrances and also powders, skincare and I just want to talk um, about uh, feminine perfumes in this video and in the future I will probably film a review on the perfumes for men. So let's just uh, start with the first fragrance that is called Dulcia and I have a sample of it, it looks like this. So Dulcia is a very nice, uh, very nice um, kind of floral fresh fragrance that has top notes of green apple and also kins as well as Egyptian eyelet. And in the heart of this composition we have groove, lemon, uh, lemon tree um, flower and also peach blossom. And in the base we have osmanthus, white cedar and amber. So, uh, talking about osmanthus, I don't smell it in this fragrance because osmanthus is for me more on the creamy, maybe apricotty and sometimes leathery side and this fragrance is more about green apple. So if you're looking for something warm but also fresh and that smells like apple, maybe maybe you're looking for a fragrance that smells like a lot a lot like um, apple, then I think you will actually uh, really like this one because um, it claims to be a feminine fragrance, but in my opinion it will be nice on the men also. So yeah, that's been said. Let's move on to the next fragrance that is called Shalian or Shalian. And this is a very strong and intense perfume. It has top notes of lemon, orange, nutmeg, coriander and bergamot, so the opening is quite spicy. And in the heart we have rose, jasmine, iris as well as ylang ylang. So you, we have quite a few really strong uh, flowery um, notes and in the base we have amber, um, vanilla, benzene and um, cyst. So for me this is a very um, vintage and also retro scent and I imagine a boudoir of Queen, of Queen Elizabeth to smell like this. This is the scent for a mature woman, for sure. I think this is not that good for a young girl just because it's quite intense, it is very vintage-like, so it is kind of a little bit from the uh, past century. Yeah, that's been said, now let's move on to the colognes. And the first one that I want to talk about is called Paradisi. Paradisi. So, Paradisi is the scent of freshness, the scent of brightness and joy. It opens with citrusy notes of tangerine, grapefruit and lemon. In the heart we have mint, lavender and cyclamen, which um, create beautiful, uh, very fresh 
scent and in the base we have patchouli, sandalwood and vanilla. This composition is classy, it is beautiful, it is glowy, it is fresh and very uh, cheerful. So I think this might be very um, great for summer, um, maybe for the holidays, it's beautiful. And the next uh, cologne as well, if I'm not wrong, is called Fleur. And Fleur has um, top notes of petty grain and bergamot. In the heart we have um, lavender, mint, mint and grapefruit, not grapefruit, geranium. And in the base we have patchouli. So, this perfume is um, very simple and it is nothing outstanding. But, you know, it's very classy also, so I think that people who don't like that much very outstanding, very complicated verses, who just, who are looking for something simple, nice, everyday, like, um, will like this fragrance. It is simple, but it is good. Well, the next uh, fragrance is called Sherabin. Sherabin. Oh my god. Well, it looks like this, it is absolutely amazing and it has something childlike about it. It is very fresh, it is citrusy, it is green, it is very easy to wear, it will be perfect for summer. It has top knots of Morocco, orange flower and lemon and in the heart we have orange and rose and in the base we have helotrop and white musk. So maybe it has a little bit of a fruity undertone with a little bit of musk, but just a little bit, tiny little bit. And it is also very classy fragrance, um, as all perfumes from this collection, basically. When I'm saying the word classy, then I just really mean it, because, yeah, they are classy. So they are not modern, in my opinion, they are not that groundbreaking, outstanding, something new, they are just really good quality perfumes. So yeah, um, that is it for this one. And the last but not least fragrance is one of the recent releases actually. And it has kind of um, a different bottle bottle design and I saw it um, in the real life um, as I was in uh, um, in accents and they are very beautiful. New bottles are absolutely, new bottles are modern because um, previous scents they have that really classy, very elegant design, you know, like a princess would um, use, you know, ferns like that. These ones are more on the modern side. So yeah, this fragrance is um, this fragrance is sweet, floral, and fruity, with head notes of tangerine and bergamot. And in the heart of the composition, we have orange blossom with cedar wood. And the base create notes of tuberose, jasmine, and musk. So this fragrance for me is definitely about tuberose, a hypnotic tuberose that. Um, hypnotizes you, that amuses you, that just really takes you all. And if you're a fan of tuberose, you will really enjoy the scent because it is quite intense and I like that this is quite unisex. Maybe more on the feminine side, but definitely verbal for a man. So yeah, the narcotic scent of tuberose. And that is, guys, basically it for this review. And I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Um, I will leave a link to the official website of this brand in the description box down below. So make sure that you check it out because they have quite a few uh, products. And yeah, I just think that perfumes from this brand are very classy. They will be very... Um, beautiful for people who kind of not that, um, you know, like into wearing um, very complicated, very, um, very different kind of like perfumes. And they just want to add a little bit to their image, but don't, you know, don't to play with it too much. So that's my opinion. Uh, perfumes have amazing quality and also beautiful, very classy, very elegant designs. 
So yeah, make sure that you check out the uh, official website. And yeah, uh, that is basically it for this review. I hope that you enjoyed watching it and you find it helpful. And if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. And we'll see each other in my next video.